like they, the way they missed, it's like oh, oh, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, which, not sure in Celsius, it's pretty close in the 30s, I would think. I'm not sure what that is across the way, whether or not it's a hotel or a condo complex. If it's condos, it is magnificent. For our first meal here in Scottsdale, we are at Postino. And all day, every day, until 5 o'clock is happy hour. All the wines are $5 a glass. That is the Brie Apple and Fig spread. Worm Artichoke spread. The Salami and Pesto. And Burrata, Bacon, Arugula, and Tomato. Absolutely delicious. And what I like is they cut each piece of bread into quarters. So you don't have to pick up one whole big piece and have it going all over. Yum. I'm amazed that they're completely booked up here and you must sit at the bar. I never thought that would happen. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. You should see this whole big thing is this is strictly drinks. I don't usually do this because nobody in the ladies room a gorgeous restaurant I love sinks like this. Stunningly beautiful restaurant. That's what we ordered, the taco box. Their happy hour bar menu. They have truffle fries. Queso fundido, that sounds good too. You know, if you want to come here, you need reservations. As I said, it's only four o'clock, and this place is already jumping. Yum, salsa and tortilla chips. The tacos are delivered in a box like this. Salsas on top. I just ordered the queso fundido, which is chihuahua cheese. Hi, chihuahua. The queso is right there on the floor. Flour tortillas are in there. My opinion, this is better than the tacos. Really, really good. Bass, we walked by another restaurant, which I thought we got good write-ups the other day, but I didn't like the looks of it. So, we are here now at Citizen Public House. It got very high marks for one of the best restaurants in Scottsdale from The Food Network. And I like their reviews. There is a happy hour every single day from 4 to 6. And we're turning into two taco people. Server Gary said there are three filet tacos. So we'll see if that's enough or not. Because I have not been eating any salads. Pathetic, pathetic. And... The field green sounds good. Tomato, cranberry, goat cheese, cashews, and balsamic vinaigrette. And I'm already looking at desserts. There's a whiskey bread pudding with cinnamon bourbon praline sauce, and you add ice cream. That sounds very yum. Here are the three tacos. The next item that's going down the, down the old hatch along with red wine is the salad. He said this is a side salad. Well, we think it's pretty big and we're going to split this one and then move along to dessert. From what I understand, the restaurants here in Arizona can only have 50% occupancy. This particular restaurant has been open for 10 years. And the menu, I, I believe there, I counted, there are eight entrees. It's like half of a normal menu. You think you're getting back into routine and then your governor shuts down everything once again. It's 
really tragic for everybody in the industry. This is an absolute first. I've never had bread pudding where it looks like and is an actual piece of bread. That was so delicious that if we were home, I would use a spatula so we could lick out the bowl. Yum, yum, yum. One last Mexican grill night at Loco Patron. Everybody has happy hour. I think tonight we're gonna go for a margarita. Those are their $5 plates, including a queso skillet and $7 plates. And I think we're gonna do nachos. Huge, huge menu. Salute. This is what I mean by good old American junk food, a nacho platter. The jalapenos are very spicy. Steve sacrificed himself and set his throat on fire.